Shalom, shalom. Praise be he. Listen up, brothers. He's the only way. He's the life. Listen up. Today we're going to speak about what was his first commandment. What was our creator's first commandment, Ephraim? Also known as Puerto Ricans. One of the lost people, the lost tribes of the 12 tribes of Israel. We must know, and I'm going to read a scripture. So you could actually what he, know what he said to mankind and his chosen ones. The scripture that I'm going to read is one of the commandments. It's the first commandment that he wrote. It's Exodus chapter 20, verse 2 states. I am the Lord your God who brought you out the land of Egypt, out the house of slavery. You shall have no gods beside me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, rather is full of anything that is in the earth at heavens above or that is on earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth, you shall not bow down to them or worship them. Now we got to take that in mind. That must be lead by the heart. And not let people tell us what they want us to know and not to know. Because our ancestors did not listen, we are in this predicament right now that we must fix within ourselves, our people. My Puerto Rican people, your identity has been stolen and it's time for you to know what it is. Since I'm talking about that commandment, he said, most Puerto Rico and Puerto Ricans in the United States, they celebrate pagan holidays that it's not written to celebrate because God said, do not put anything before him. Praise be he. Why would you need, say, if you believe and sure, as you know, Jesus Christ, why would you need to vote a Pope in if you believe in Christ? Don't that sound like you're putting something before your Savior that your Creator sent? And that's, just, that's a very serious thing because it's not just about Words is about salvation, everlasting life. It's your soul that you have to save. I see people buy candles and 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 and, and, and some some uh some alcohol to take baths with. That's a form of paganism. That's not of God. What is from the Creator is His Word. Why practice something that you see that when you do it, it do not speak to you? It do not answer you? It don't say nothing to you. It just stands there. Like a Christmas tree that celebrate Christmas. Who actually know the birth of Yeshua? Jesus Christ. No one. He didn't ask or the Creator said to celebrate December 25th. 
That's man-made. But the word of Yah is not man-made. It's from him. It's law. His teaching. His discipline for his children. We in a time right now that uh, that they're killing, they're killing, they're killing our brothers, our young brothers. You know, color black people walking down the street. They just kill them, these cops, and get away with it. No get no judgment or or prosecution for what they are doing to a human being, the children of the Most High. You must come and do an inventory of your inner self, your spirit. And take the mask off from the blindness that was led you to believe. I must say that my eyes was open because of the trial. Of the tribe of Judah. They are teachers. They come to teach. To wake up. To call us home. To the true. Creator. Our father. We must not be stubborn no more. Stop doing. Things. That you need to live. In this world. Because we, we are not from this world. As Ashua said. My kingdom is not from this world. Why do it? Why pay attention to somebody that's misleading you. From your true identity. Your destiny. And your creator. From heaven. That gave you the breath of life to live. For the stuff of material stuff. He's calling us home. He's calling us home now. We must wake up all together. My Puerto Rican brothers and sisters. Stop going to clubs. Stop worrying about what a friend is doing. Stop worrying about this. Stop worrying about being beautiful, stop worrying about putting makeup on your face and stuff like that get yourself into the book research your identity know where you come from know what really happened in Puerto Rico learn how we got to Puerto Rico Stop acting and so confused into your phone and, and, and texting and, 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 and worry about what makes you happy because that's lust of wants. You, you need to learn the word need. I need to know the truth. I need to know my true God. I need to know who I truly am. I need to know how can I get back to my father that they took me away from? We have a big blessing that you don't know about. But how can you know if you're doing everyday things that, oh, if, 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 if I don't go to work, or if I don't do this, I'm going to starve. You can't worship two gods. And the two gods, you know what I'm saying? You got one that gives you life. And you got the other one that gives you material. The one that gives you material is to keep you away from God. The most high. Yeah. For you will never know the truth that. Man cannot control you. 
Because your father gave you everything in the beginning. Everything in the beginning. All you had to do was just listen. Listen to him call. The trial already blew the the trial Judah already blew the trumpet. Stop being so lost and confused in the way of life in this country. Because it will not belong to you. You do not belong here. You was not born here. Oh, I was born in a hospital over here. This state, this state, this state, and this state. I'm calling to all my peoples in the United States because it's, it's not called United States. It's called United Snakes of America. We corrupt the mind and the soul from you knowing the true creator. What would you say? What would you say if you were seeing him? Oh, nobody told me. No, nobody told me. Nobody told me. Nobody told you. But you can probably go on YouTube and see a a a a a a a a a a a a a Beyonce or or Lil Wayne or or Drake or or these so called demon lovers because that's what they are because. There's no message in none of these songs. They don't care about you. They don't care if you save or not. They care about you being in slavery and the money that you spend to them to make them more richer and richer and richer. How can you sit back and work every day, every day, Wake up in the morning, go to school, go go to work. And these Kesars, Jews in Israel, that, that is your land that was stolen from you. And, and, and you look in TV and see and the news tell you about the war between them and the, and the Palestinians and all this stuff. They're fighting... What they fighting over? They fighting to keep you confused or not knowing that that is your land. That's where you belong and that y'all are the real Israelite Jew. Our identity has been stolen from us. Do you know actually the history in Puerto Rico? What happened to our people? I got a lot of scriptures I could read and all that stuff, but what, what what's the sense of of of, of uh, 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 explaining okay to you if you rather pick up a magazine or a PlayStation or or, or, or go hang out with your friends? You know what I'm saying? To be accepted. Accepted for what? What can they do for you? Can they save you? Can they give you eternal life? Can they give you the love and peace that you need? Or gossip? To make you think, keep talking this and that and that and this and this and that. Where is you heading? How how you going to know where you... Where you going to go in life if you do not know one inch where you came from or one idea where you came from? Oh, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm from Puerto Rico, but I'm a New York Rican. I'm a United States Rican. That's your slave master's name, Puerto Rican. Stop calling a false god's name and call on the real creator's name. Yeah.